Hello and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally pick and are my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you a story, King for a Day. Fear not, fair princess, Marshall cried. The pups of the round table will save thee. The pups were practicing their play about knights. Chase was King Arthur, and the other pups were his brave knights. Our play will be knight-tastic, Marshall declared. In Adventure Base's town square, Captain Turbot was building the set for the play. The set looked like a castle. Castle construction is close to completion, Carpenter Boat announced. Just one last nail. But when he swung his hammer, he missed. Instead of hitting the nail, he hit the castle wall and the set collapsed. A big piece of the castle fell right on top of Captain Turbo. I'm stuck, he cried. He reached for his phone and called the Paw Patrol for help. Don't worry, Captain Turbo, Ryder said. No job is too big, no pup is too small. The Paw Patrol raced to the town square. How are you, Captain Turbo? Marshall asked. Super, but stuck, he said, and my arm smarts a smidge. We'll have you out in no time, Ryder promised. Rubble, use your claw hook to lift the wall. On the double, Rubble said. Rubble backed his truck up to the wall and lifted it away from Captain Turbo. But there was still another piece of scenery trapping him. Chase used the winch on his vehicle to pull the doorway off Captain Turbot. He was free. Thanks, Paw Patrol, Captain Turbot said as he stood and brushed himself off. Okay, Captain Turbot, Marshall said. I need to do a medical exam. X-ray machine. The machine popped out of Marshall's pack. He used it to scan Captain Turbot's bones. Hmm, Marshall said. Looks like it's only a sprain. I'll wrap it up. A bandage popped out of Marshall's pack. He wrapped the bandage around Captain Turbot's wrist. Captain Turbot needed to rest his arm. So it was up to the Paw Patrol to finish building the castle for their play. Okay, my pups of the round table, Chase commanded through his megaphone. Move it! Sky used her helicopter and towing cable to fly a wall to the set. She placed it in the middle of the stage. Rocky popped a tool arm out of his pack. He used the power screwdriver to spin screws through a hinge and into the wooden door. He tested the door to make sure it could easily open and close. This castle door is ready, he announced. Marshall held a paintbrush in his mouth and dipped it into a can of purple paint. He carefully spread the paint on the wall. Ryder worked on the other side of the doorway. Together, they finished painting the castle in a flash. Soon, the castle was ready. The pups felt so proud they all howled and barked. Except Chase. He didn't bark. He coughed. Marshall took his temperature. Uh-oh, you've got a fever. You need lots of rest and liquids. But who would play King Arthur in the play? Marshall, he knew all the lines, and the crown fit him. 
it was time to start the entertainment and the last of the audience arrived just before the play began. Callie the kitten was a princess stuck high in a tower. The pup who pulled the bone from the stone would become king and save the princess. Behold the bone, Rubble said. Um, Rocky said licking his lips. It looks delicious. Marshall entered. Fear not, fair princess. He jumped over the bone and took it in his teeth. Then he struggled to pull it out of the stone. When the bone came free, it flew out of Marshall's mouth and hit the tower. The tower toppled over and Callie fell. The audience gasped. Thankfully, Marshall caught Callie, and he remembered to say his line. You are free, fair princess. The audience cheered. Marshall was doing an excellent job. Lady Sky popped the wings out of her pack and flew over Marshall. Heads up, she said as she dropped a golden crown right onto his head. It was a perfect fit. All hail King Arthur, the pops cried, kneeling in front of Marshall. The curtain closed. When it opened again, the pops took a bow. The audience cheered again. Great job, all of you, Ryder said. You're such good pops. The king had saved the day, and Marshall had saved the play. The and I hope you enjoy listening to the story, A King for a Day. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!